This brief video is going to be on something I um, caught in this purchase of this book. Uh, history is wrong. Uh, so many red flags, more red flags than a communist nation. And it's regarding, not the book, but the video, is regarding the coming deception of the Antichrist and the many antichrist spirits in the in the world today that are out to deceive because the devil is the author of all confusion and deception and he's um, he have a testimony of the trueness and faithfulness of God the Father the almighty Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ and the triune God of the Holy Bible if you have a sure testimony and uh, you know that the Lord is faithful and his word's faithful. You can see you have the light. So from the light and the truth and in the word, you can filter out all that's counter. And exact, that's exactly what is going on in the world. It's counter the truth. Um, all, all the machinations in the world to undermine family values, to promote abortion, homosexuality, transgender, humanism, all, all this roots from the devil to overthrow biblical Christianity and uh, the the Jewish race the uh, because they hold to the faithfulness of Almighty God although they're antichrist in the, in the sense that they haven't accepted uh, the Messiah, the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. So everything in this world is to deceive because it's this is a probationary existence for man's salvation that's why uh, the Lord Jesus Christ come into come into time who's eternal and suffered for all, all men to receive his salvation and uh, anybody can gain a good report through faith through trusting in in in, in the in the Lord in faith um, now this is a I didn't I, I brought this book on just Amazon and it was just a, a, on a whim really I didn't really check the content I, I was just saw the title history is wrong and I brought it and then never read it and I've just recently picked it up for something to read and and then all the red flags started appearing and I thought oh no what have I brought here it's regarding aliens and um, the uh, his perception of who God is. He's um, now this is it's got a recommendation from or a a, a review from uh, Christianity Today. His ideas have a mythic appeal, so it really highlights the uh, apostasy and the. I don't know, there's no testimony of this um, author, Mr. Eric von Daniken, but he mentions in his book that he he's written other books, where one was called, and this is not an endorsement by the way, Chariot of the Gods. Now I, th I think his belief, briefly mentioned in this book, that he, he believes that, um, he doesn't believe the God of the Bible, he's got his own definition of who God is rather than trusting in God's word and believing in the authorised standard of God's authority which is the Holy Bible and the King preserved in the King James which will um, reinforce the the spirit of the Holy Spirit and um, the truth of, of the Lord and his word which that's why we have a written record in, in the faithfulness of his preser preservation of the Holy Scriptures, that all individuals may come to the knowledge of uh, what's right and what's wrong, what's true and what's not true, what's um, counter Christ or instead of Christ. And um, I think his belief is uh, based on that God's... Um, sort of spaceman or something like that um, but I, I haven't read his other books so I haven't really got a, a full picture of his belief but he endorses within in the book so this is really just to warn people about these sorts of authors and 
Uh, it's one of those books that if if you're um, into the my mysticism and um, things like that, you you're going to be uh, appeal to your your interests and your your vain your vain imagination in some regards, and which will draw you away from the ultimate truth in in Jesus Christ. Now he doesn't mention that he believes in Jesus Christ. There's no testimony of. It's just his theories on these. Um, uh, I think it's the Voynich scripts or something like that. Let me find out. <coughs> uh, the, the the Voynich manuscript. Now I never heard of that, so I looked it up, and it's a mysterious manuscript that no one can translate. And there's all these speculations and books written on these manuscripts, and it's his view of the um, the uh, scratchings in the desert in the, in in Peru, I think, all the mysterious uh, lines and uh, patterns on the desert floor that can only be viewed from the air. Now, I didn't realise that at the time; I wouldn't have brought the book, but it goes into uh, the fallen angels which are referred to in lowercase g as the gods. Now, the, now, my view is that the uh, any any alien or spaceman is a deceptive angel, because uh, the holy word is clear, that uh, the devil, Lucifer, Satan, can appear as an angel of light, as a, as a false apostle, as an apostle of light, as a minister of truth, and he will deceive men at will, he's a powerful, fallen angel and he's a prince of this world and he will deceive people who 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 don't have the light don't have a testimony in the faithfulness of the lord the almighty lord and savior jesus christ god the father and the holy spirit so this is one of those books that are feeding that spirit of that um the coming deception which could could well be that the the man of sin in the last days and in, in, in the future prophecies of the the Bible that will come on the scene in the in the period of uh, tribulation, the seven year tribulation of what's called Jacob's trouble, that this man of sin will be um, Lucifer incarnate in a in a fallen uh, rep reprobate person who who allows himself or however it is however the devil's manifest in, in, in a human body in the flesh to uh, counterfeit the, the saviour of mankind that has already been and finished his work on the cross and rose from the grave and ascended back to his eternal eternal abode in the Father who will come again for his, his saints before the tribulation and then appear on the earth to bring all the nations into subjection and claim his uh, kingdom and power and authority and to de declare his righteousness and ru rule and reign in righteousness for a thousand years it's all all um, in the in the prophecies of the holy word in the old testament and the new testament but this this book highlights i think the deception the coming deception that perhaps that the man of sin will be uh, supernaturally appear could could appear in a spacecraft and or I don't quite believe that fits in with the scriptures, but he may appear as um, a, uh, some supernatural race or to deceive the, all, all the world, and because it's the devil behind it, and there's uh, feeds into this man's ideas that the uh, the fallen and other people's views that the that the aliens are from another race and they're the creators of the universe and you know all in the omission uh, omission of of the truth and 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 the sovereign lord and god and it will deceive the whole world and unite try and unite the whole world in a lie which will bring about a sudden destruction as the holy word clearly states so it's just a just a quick warning about these kind of books and to highlight this this author and uh, 
warn people about the deception and uh, invite people if they they're not safe to just come to the cross and get on your knees and and believe in believe with all your heart in and cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ to to the mighty God for your salvation and then he will faithfully save you because uh, God is faithful and he's true and, and until you know God until you have that uh, witness of the testimony of the, the the Holy Lord spilling his precious blood to save all mankind until you know that you 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 remain lost and you're deceived in the world and you you'll easily be deceived by this coming power because these spirits are in the world today his his spirit and work is working through mankind at will he's a prince of this world and very powerful and the only the only way to overcome that deception and power is by the victory in Jesus Christ it's not something you can anyone can do on their own satan will sift people like chaff and uh, even believers he can uh, sift and toss and uh, flit so there's many counterfeit spirits uh, many possessed people many um, oppressed people and uh, he's a lying counterfeit of the truth and it is oozing throughout this book this author um, um, highlights and commends the book of mormon which was um, if you know anything about mormonism the angel moroni um, appeared to joseph smith and gave him a vision of these gold plates and he, he's endorsing he claims to be a christian or he's been given christian reviews and it's endorsing a heretical um, cult and that's one of the things I wanted to to mention is that um, the, uh, the angel Moroni was Satan just like the all the apparitions um, if you look throughout um, history how people are into the occult Hitler was into the occult the um, Thrill Society or Fuel, Fuel, Fuel Society the satanic um, pagan occultic belief systems and if you uh, investigate all their secret societies, they're all they're all manifestations of the same lump. They're all the same kind of deception. They're all done in the dark. They're all done in secret, and they're all linked in. So, same with Freemasonry. Same with the Jesuits. Same with all these um, Rosicrucians. Or all all these belief systems that. Um, that that really Darwinism supports because it justifies, uh, you know, the elite are justified to kill the kill the rest because they're, uh, they're born to rule over people and they're above people because they're uh, vain and deluded and reprobate. So they believe that uh, they can uh, they've got knowledge, hidden knowledge. Well, knowledge is <laughs> is not in a corner; should be shared. It's free. The Lord Jesus Christ is a free gift, and uh, he's, he died to freely give all mankind eternal life, and it's simply by faith that you receive that gift. It's nothing you can do, you can't earn it, you can't work for it. You simply come, come humbly, knowing you're a sinner, and, and looking for salvation, and to know God, and to be forgiven of your sins, and, and he will grant you that, um, that life that truth and that light and then you will um, gain a testimony of his faithfulness in the word if you believe the word if, you, if you're not deceived by all the opinions but this book is uh, ripe with um, endorsing these deceptive spirit spirits and the what you see in the world when you investigate um, all the rumors about um, that the government know about these alien creatures and what I was mentioning about people like Hitler and world leaders, um, Alistair Crowley, they all communed with these deceptive spirits. And Satan is, has manifested himself in so many diverse ways to all these diverse groups and deceived them. And if, if you don't have the light, you're not going to be able to discern and see this, that, uh, that this is the hand of um, uh, full spirits, of counterfeit spirits the uh, orchestration of the devil the fallen 
a fallen uh, cherub from from a heavenly uh, sphere in the presence of God, who fell and was banished for the earth, and who tempts man, deceives mankind, and he's in opposition to God. He's he, he's separate from God. He's a created being, but he's a fallen power, and he's the most powerful thing on this planet, under the sovereign power of the Almighty. He's been allowed to, um, because of sin and free agency, he's, he's there to tempt, he's there to deceive. And all these world leaders have been deceived who engage in these uh, mystical, heretical, um, esoteric belief systems. They're all, all very similar. And they're all to do one thing, is to deceive mankind from the blessed love and testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ who's faithful and merciful and outstretched to every single sinner so if you if you've come across this video and, and you don't know the Lord I'm not talking about organized religion I'm talking about a soul relationship with with the Almighty that you you just believe in in the one sent the one who died and rose again and is in heaven who will return who will judge the whole world's under condemnation and it's approaching the, the, the end times, the very fulfilment of prophecy when the whole world will be judged. So if you want to escape that judgment, if you want to know the living God and be saved, I invite you to call out now, today, because so God is eternal, God's now, salvation is now, it's today and you may not be here tomorrow. Um, so I wanted to mention that this author has fallen into the um, heretical apostate category of this alien deception, this p potential alien um, manifestation on the earth. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure that that's how uh, the man of sin is going to be manifest, but it, it, there is um, things to point point in that direction. But that could be a complete red herring. You know, just part of the smokescreen of 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 a powerful, intelligent uh, angel who, who is out to deceive and out to win your soul. And um, this guy re reinforces the belief that the you think of the Greek, the Greek gods, the Roman gods. You know, were they manifestations of the fallen angels? If you read uh, Genesis chapter 6, how the the sons of God took, um, come, come, uh, left their abode, their heavenly role and authority and responsibility and uh, bred with uh, the daughters of men and created giants on the earth. It's, um, it's in the Genesis chapter 6. And that's, that's part of what corrupted the human DNA, which is why God flooded the the world and the the dispensation after the fall of Adam and Eve and that's why Noah was and only Noah and his family were saved that's eight people and the whole world was um, destroyed because of these uh, engaging with these um, fallen deities and it says in the in, in, in the scriptures that it will be like the days of Noah the days of Noah in the last days in the end times and uh, you can see that creeping in already that the you've got um, American um, politicians or ministers claiming that uh, or people who've worked for the security services claiming that they're, they're hiding back on you know all this speculation and tantalizing the UFO community that they know that these things exist well they might very well exist but they might not be what they claim to be they might not be aliens they're not aliens, they're fallen angels. They are um, hyper-dimensional uh, beings that can shapeshift. Satan can appear as um, a will-o'-the-wisp, angel of light, a pixie, whatever he chooses, he has the power. He's um, a powerful creature that, that is beyond our comprehension of what, what uh, grace he was given, what intelligence he was given, what uh, knowledge he was given, and how old he is, and how long, how long, how long he, he existed before he fell. No one, no one, nobody knows that. 
So he's far more advanced and it's child's play for him to come up with these uh, deceptions and uh, the UFO in my opinion and all the Greek gods, all the Roman gods, all, all these f and all the people who, um, the pharaohs, they're all into pagan worship, sex, ritual, mag magic, it all ties into the same thing and this guy is sadly falling for that same kind of uh, line, although he's got his own intellectual opinion of the matter but he doesn't teach biblical Christianity, he's, he's teaching another gospel it says in Galatians that if any other angel comes and uh, teaches any other gospel, let that person be accursed. This person's cursed, accursed, and he's been deceived. So, is he a Christian? He may, he may be a Christian in name, but uh, or he may he may not be a Christian. But he he's got he's got a belief in a God. But the devil believe you know the devils believe in God. So um, it's important to know the true and living God before you can figure out what's right and what's wrong, what's what and what, what's not. And uh, so I wanted to just highlight that that author, that he's a, a heretic. And uh, that, that sort of, these sort of books appeal to people with itchy ears who like mysticism and you would get swept up and swept away in... Uh, a load of delusion. Uh, the Lord is sober and simple. The simplicity of Christ is very sober, very straightforward, and it's very secure. And it will, um, if you really seek the truth, you will find it. You will be straightened by it. You will be edified by it. You will, you will know the, the loving author of that care and consideration for your soul. Whereas none of these authors are really concerned about you. They've they've got their own motives. They've got their own agenda, their their own ideas. You can't trust man. You can't lean upon the flesh. You need to trust in the Lord, and He will guide you. He will guide your footsteps in the by the Holy Spirit and by the Holy Written Word in the King James Bible. So I'm the closer in the blessed name, Jesus Christ, and wish everybody well. Maranatha.